Welcome to Ultimate Mar Bros. Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ultimate Mar Bros. I'm your host, Ultimate Mar, and today we are playing Ratchet and Clank Future, a crack in time, baby. And honestly, I have been trying and trying, and oh my god, I have been trying to get that chip o -matic uh, weapon in the gold cup and that thing is insanely difficult you guys saw in the last video I got so close I mean I got so close alright when we get back we will be at Dr. Nefarious's outpost hang on tight guys alrighty we are almost back at Dr. Nefarious's outpost that you see in the background uh, screw that but in order to get through that, you have to use your L2 button and refract, reflect. Okay, I failed. Jeez, that sucked. There we go. You have to reflect that back at him just so you can get in here. And I just wanted to make sure I showed you guys that so you know how to get in there. Just uh, hit the L2 button. Alright, we... What is going on here? Cutscene? No. Is that Quark's voice? Huh. Okay. Well, interesting, I guess. You know... Uh, today is July 19th, uh, and today's been a manga day. <laughs> what I mean by it is, one of the manga that I've been reading for a while, uh, reincarnated as an aristocrat with an appraisal skill, that is what it's called, which I know, oh my god, that's a mouthful. And you would be 100% correct. That is, without a doubt, a giant mouthful to say. But it's not a bad one. It's... What? What's this? What? 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 Impactor. Alright, screw it. Ricochet. Okay. Um, it's really grounded in more of a reality type situations and what I mean by that is the main character is reincarnated into this world as the son of an aristocrat which is cool uh, I like the fact that it's not everything is going to shit immediately against him is this the weapon I think it is Oh my god. Look at that. is that is really hilarious. I love that. I guess there's no more new weapons that I'll be able to buy from this playthrough. Oh well. Let's see this. Oh my god. That is whoo that is quite horrifying come on Fred take him out oh really he didn't do shit that was actually kind of disappointing ah, it'll probably be better when there's a giant fucking armada of enemies Anyways, I love the fact that when the guy is reborn into this new world, well, he is an aristocrat and he has advantages, obviously, uh, because he's a noble, he wasn't gifted with 
insane cheat abilities or any of that nonsense. What he got was an appraisal ability to check people's uh, not only abilities but uh, their how do you call it? I don't understand how to say it. Uh, their political point of view, not point of view, but uh, if they are aligned to being into politics, into uh, basically how ambitious a person is, but it also puts into numerical value a person's leadership skills, their, oh, what is it? I don't remember the other things. Leadership skills, bravery, military abilities, all of their strengths and weaknesses, it puts it to numerical value. And uh, while he is born to a noble, he is like a country bumpkin compared to the rest of the nobles. He's like nobles here and he's here in the noble spectrum. Almost the very bottom, really. Uh, like a baron in uh, Europe uh, level uh, in the political and noble society in the 1700s. Why am I speaking so much about that? It's kind of annoying. Anyways, I, I just wanted to make sure we were clear on uh, what his home situation is like. Uh, he's got two younger twin brothers who are really adorable, but they're like almost 10 years younger than him. Maybe not 10, maybe 6 years younger. If I had to guess, but I love how it doesn't. That it's not going into the route of a fight between brothers to become the next ruler of their land or whatever. The the brothers, the three brothers, all love each other very much. And he's doing everything in his power to make sure his little brothers get to grow up safe and happy. Which is a cool thing for an older brother to do, especially in a noble society. That's not generally what happens. There's a lot of political infighting in this type of... Oh, God. one of those since I was a kid. You're an idiot, that's how. Yeah. 
the gigamorphic. This is the most long, convoluted, stupid plan ever. You are the most self-serving idiot ever. It's part of an elaborate deception plan. It mostly involves a lot of hip swinging and puppy dog eyes. Well, white's certainly your color. Oh, thanks. I always fancy myself a winter. Can I just hit him? Please, we're actually just hit this idiot. The final showdown between good and evil. Can you smell that? Drama, baby. I smell something, and it's definitely not drama. Hey, look at the bright side. Who's about being squished to death by the pistol? Did you, Cork? When have you ever successfully infiltrated fucking anything? Okay. Gotta give it to him, he does have some good body strength. No shit. Anyways, uh, he he's not given super strength, he's not given uh Super magic abilities. Because they're not stupid. Jesus Christ. Honestly, how is Quark still alive? He is the luckiest SOB in this world. Like, no question, the luckiest SOB who's ever lived in this world. You know, Here's an idea. How about you guys? I I'm talking to the creators of the Ratchet Clank games. For the love of God, if you're going to make a time, a dimensional hopping game like the one that's on the PS5, please send us to a dimension where Quark is actually fucking useful and not the biggest piece of shit that ever lived. Please. I will and truly would love to see a level or a competent Captain Quark. As much as I hate Captain Quark, this Captain Quark, because I know he's an a-hole. Oh, Fred is here. Hello, Fred. Anyways, while ours doesn't get superpowers or super magic, and he's got that uh, appraisability, he learns to use it for the betterment of his home, in a way. And what I mean by that is, four years, when the story starts, I think it's ours is like seven and he is he realizes that a war is coming he doesn't know how to stop it because he's only seven years old I mean granted internally he's probably a lot older but that's neither here nor there right now
And so he uses his abilities to find talented people, and his goal is to make his home where he lives into the strongest place. And I love that he's doing everything in his power to make sure that his people and his home are well protected. And he is what I would embody, call as the embodiment of the perfect noble. Well, maybe not perfect because he's still a child and there's still a lot that he needs to learn. But he's got the right ideals for his home. Wait, who is shooting? I just keep seeing green lasers flash by me. I gotta admit, Pork, you're actually being useful. God, I hate saying that. Anyways, it's just a fantastic and realistic look at a fantasy genre, in my opinion, where the main character isn't an overpowered god in this world and is just trying to live his life throughout the day. And it's really, really interesting. And I love how he earns people's trust. And what I mean by that is, as he's trying to get people to follow him and learn, not learn, as he's trying to lead his people, Like, the first person he gets to become his loyal follower is basically a slave uh, of another, not race, but another country's citizen. <laughs> and he's just doing really well helping him. And instead of allowing him to be executed, he asks his father, hey, can we keep him with us? Uh, I can see his abilities and they will serve us well. Let's not kill the guy who was basically being forced to be a spy against his will and let's try and get him on our side. Which again is very understandable and very relatable, and I love that. So, yeah, give that manga a read. It's got really good characters. There's another one. Uh, a young girl who is a magic prodigy, but she doesn't know that she has god-level amounts of magic. And... Uh, she's an orphan who takes care of orphan children. Ah. Ooh, this is... Ah. Stop it! Who protects and does everything in their power to raise young children who have been orphaned, which I love that as well. And he makes a deal that if she comes with him, he will do everything in his power to protect the orphan children, he will rebuild the orphanage and make it a better place for those children. Which again is really cool. And after earning her trust, she joins him. And it, it's just really nice to see how he's doing everything in his power to earn his followers' trust. And Instant 
to do once the clock is under my control. Number one, double-cross remaining Valkyr is in retired Lord Borsalon. Number two, re-establish Vendetta against organic life forms. And number three, I am Rendezvous point. Once I forgot to tune the auto scaler. Yeah, I've got close enough. Try your vocal modulator. Test, test, one, two. It works. Now, let's finish this and go home. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to end this video here. Uh, check out reincarnated as an aristocrat with a appraisal cheat ability I think that's what it's called it's a good manga it's a good wholesome story and it's just all around really good alright guys thanks for listening and I'll see you all tomorrow